Welcome to Lab 5, the mole counting by weighing. This is a preview of the procedure that you will be doing in this lab. So we set the scale to grams, we put the weighing bolt, and then teared it. Tear means that the scale is set to zero so that the weighing bolt will have um, no mass when the nuts are placed. So I'm taking all the nuts from my packet and then I'm going to weigh it. So take all the nuts and just uh, place it on the um, weighing bolt. And then what you will do is um, record the total mass. In this particular case, the total mass is 34.01. There's a total of um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven nuts, and so 34.01 grams divided by 11. Each nut weighs an average of 3.09 grams. The next thing we will do is place the weighing bolt again on the scale. Make sure you tear it so it reads zero, and then take all your bolts. And here we have five bolts and the mass of the five bolts is 53.82 grams so if you take 53.82 grams and you divide it by five that comes out to 1.5 four grams a piece. Place the weighing boat on the scale and then this time take one nut bolt, take a second nut bolt, take a third nut bolt, and a fourth nut bolt and a fifth nut bolt and this will give you again the mass of five BN molecules so if you take the mass which is read as 69.25 and you divide that by five then each BN molecule weighs 13.85 grams the next thing you want to do is take, again, make sure that you tear your scale each time so that it reaches zero. Take a second nut bolt and do this again for all five. And what you should see is the total mass of five BN2 molecules. And what you can do next is um, get the average mass for this. And the total is 84.7. See, 84.72. So if you take 84.72 and divide it by 5, what you get is 16.944 grams for each BN2. For BN3, what you will need to do is you're going to have less because you don't have enough um, nuts to do 3. So what you're going to do is just um, remove. Take some of the nuts from the BN2 and make a BN3. That's one, that's two. that's three. 
I only have enough hardware to make three BN3 molecules. That mass is 60.10 and now I need to divide it by three because I only have three here. So each BN3 weighs 20.033 grams. You do the same thing for the BN4. We remove all of this. Okay. And what we want to do is again make sure we tear the scale and we put a fourth nut on these. And I believe the only thing we can do here is make um, let's see two of these. And that's okay. You're limited by the hardware you have. So let's uh, see what we can do here. So there's two. And that mass comes out to 46.22. And now we need to divide by two. So each is 23.11 grams. Now that we've finished the hardware data, let's go to the lentil beans or lentil soy. So this is basically the lentil soy um, packet. And in here, they tell you that you have 20 lentils and 20 soy. So what we have to do is separate each. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate each one of these. Okay. And then I'm just going to put my 20 lentil. Make sure you wear gloves so you don't transfer moisture. So I'm going to make this set this to zero. Again, I'm going to zero my weighing bolt and then I'm going to put my 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I forgot some of my toys are here. Make sure you don't put water on these, otherwise it will, um, your mass will not be accurate. Now notice that for these lentils, the size are not evenly distributed. That means some are going to weigh more, others are going to weigh less. But what you're doing here is you're taking an average. So in this particular case, the total of 20 is 8.55 so if you put 8.55 in your calculator and divide by 20 what you have is the mass of one lentil, be lentil um, bean and that would be 0.4275 based on 8.55 divided by 20. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the remaining soy and then I'm just going to weigh them. I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to weigh them. Notice I teared. And the 20 is going to weigh about 1.05. So if I take 1.05 and divide by 20, what I get is 0 .5, 0 0.0525. So each soy is 0 0.0525. Okay, so now you have an average mass of one um, lentil and one soy um, bean. And since there's 20 here and I want to do LS5, so that means that um, 20 divided by 5 is 4. So I need 4 beans here and that would be an LS5 so this right here is 
2.53 and so if I take 2.53 and divide by 4 each LS5 molecule is 0.6325 grams after recording the initial data I'm done with the experiment the rest of the lab will be doing calculations okay notice that the the scale reads reads negative 2.47 and that's because the weighing bolt weighs 2.47 so the idea of using the scale is to make sure that you press this tear button so that it zeroes it so that the anything that you put on that's the true mass of the item because the weighing boat has already been taken into consideration. Thank you for your time.